Hey guys, welcome to the video. So what is the first course you should take if you want to learn how to code? This is going to blow you away. The first course you should take if you want to learn how to code is actually not a coding course. So that doesn't make any sense uh, on the face of it. You figure if you're going to learn how to code, you should learn how to code, right? Take a coding course. But actually, the first course you should take is a course on how to learn and how your brain works. So I've been a developer since the 1990s. I've been teaching people for years. If you don't know who I am already, you could check out my reviews. Just go to studioweb.com or Studio Web in Google Business and you'll see all the reviews about my material. So you'll see that I have a long track record there. What I can tell you from having been a teacher for a long time now and a developer for a long time now, one of the biggest impediments for people one of the biggest difficulties you have is actually up here. It's psychological. It's not intellectual. So woven into my code courses, by the way, are all these tactics and training techniques to make it easy to understand. But I've decided to flip something on its head. So a few months ago, I released this course called Lizard Wizard. It's a silly title. Well, it seems like it's a silly title until, until you actually do the material and then you understand exactly why it's called Lizard Wizard. That aside, this is a course that teaches you about the two operating systems of your brain. You have two operating systems. And uh, credit given to a guy named Daniel Kahneman, who figured all this out. He actually won the Nobel Prize for that, and it kind of set the stage for a lot of the things that we didn't quite understand about how our minds work. Thanks to Kahneman, we figured that out. So Lizard Wizard is partly based on his work, Robert Cialdini, Crimmins, my martial arts background, my meditation background. And the whole point of the course is to teach you about the two operating systems of your brain and how to use that knowledge and those skills to be able to control your emotions, how to motivate yourself, how to learn much more easily and much more quickly, People who do Lizard Wizard are baffled and amazed by what they figure out. A lot of them say it's like their whole perception of reality changes and for the better. So when you approach learning to code, I invite you to take a look at my coding courses, but I think it'd probably be wise to do the Lizard Wizard course first because once you do Lizard Wizard, learning how to code learning how to do anything, going to get a job, feeling better about yourself, all this stuff will become much, much easier. Think about, the, think about it this way. So you have this supercomputer between your ears called your brain. And um, the brain has two operating systems. So imagine if I gave you the most powerful Linux machine ever created, but you don't know Linux. You're not going to be able to do much with it, right? You get the idea. Knowing the operating system is such a crucial part of being able to use the computer very effectively. So you have two supercomputers in your head. Most people don't know how to use them very well. And what you're going to discover in Lizard Wizard is that the lizard operating system, and it's called the lizard by the scientists, by the sciences, by the scientists, because is actually the same brain we share with lizards and all invertebrates up the evolutionary scale. It has a profound impact in terms of how we perceive reality, whether we're in a good mood or bad mood, how easily we learn, etc., 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 how we advance in your job. So if you're new to code, if you're learning code, even if you're an experienced developer, understanding these operating systems are crucial. That's why I decided to take the time to put out the course, about two, two and a half hours, video and audio, so you can listen to it or you can watch the videos. A lot of people, and there's also a little mini ebook that summarizes the content. So instead of stretching out the material over eight hours, I con condensed it to two, two and a half hours, and you're going to get a full understanding of what this is all about. Trust me. This is going to transform your life. People who have done the course are pretty blown away by it. And if so, if you're wanting to learn how to code, 
You want to develop skills more quickly and easily. You want to more easily get a job. You want to advance in your career. I highly recommend this course. It's very inexpensive. I wanted to make it accessible to everybody. Here it is, Lizard Wizard, link below. Check it out. So a little bit of a shameless self-promotion video, but a little education as well. So you got a few sample videos there, and uh, you can see the chapters, all the different things we cover, and how our brains work. And it's very practical, by the way. This is not a course that's just pure theory. Very practical stuff that you can put to use right away, right away, and you're going to see benefits right away. So check it out, Lizard Wizard. You can check out my reviews. This is derived from Google, of course. And um, once you get this course, I invite you to sign up for this free training, Lizard Wizard Komodo. So this is a training mini course, if you will, that's delivered to you by via email every three days and designed to implement the lessons from Lizard Wizard in practical daily tasks, which we're going to help you. So check it out. So you got two things. You got the one-two punch. Get your Lizard Wizard. Then go for Komodo to learn more. It's very cool. And I'll end with this. If you're looking at coding and becoming a developer and you look at the sea of development tools that are out there, I invite you to take a look at the Coder's Career Path webinar. Again, link below. This is free. You get access to a 29-minute video seminar that looks at all the technologies that are out there, um, all the different, whether it be C++ and JavaScript or Python or C Sharp or Java, or PHP. And I break down each language and I show you what the language implications are vis-a-vis -vis the type of work you will do, the type of programming you will do, and the type of business you likely work for. So for example, if you do C++ code, you're doing a totally different type of programming than, for example, if you're doing JavaScript coding. Not one is better than the other. It really comes down to taste. It's like driving a sports car versus driving a Jeep. They're both cool. They just are used in different situations. So check out that webinar. I think you'll find it very useful. Here it is, the Coder's Career Path webinar, 29-minute video full of in instruction, full of details that will help you to understand the whole coding and programming landscape, and it will help you make better decisions about which way to go with your coding careers. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching the video, and uh, if you don't know who I am, my name is Steph. By the way, if you look below, I do have a brand new Discord channel. Just in the last couple of days, over 300 people have joined. It's a great place. There's going to be exclusive content there and some other goodies, but uh, there's a pretty decent sized community on this YouTube channel, so it's a way to interact with each other. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.